If you're having to discount to make sales, you can't be very good at sales. Now we know that's not true, but I had to grab your attention because the word discount is definitely frowned upon, but there are times it's okay to use it and okay not to use it. So grab a pen and paper because these tips are really going to help you make sure you finish 2020 strong and run into 2021. Now let's get the first one out of the way when it is not okay to use it. I do not believe it's okay to discount when you're initially signing somebody up. If you sign them up because you're discounting, it means you're cheap, you've not been able to show the value, and if they see you like that one time, they'll see you like that forever. So please, make sure that you show the value, don't discount. Now we're gonna go through some tips here on when you should be discounting, and it rolls in with my first point. Best and loyal customers. If they have signed up and they've shown history of them being loyal to you and somebody that actually uses your product and gets the most out of it and sees value in it, maybe you should discount for the next time around. They've shown the commitment and it's something you should look to do. I know it's not easy because everyone wants to make sales and keep the value as high as possible, but that is a certain time. They've shown loyalty, they've shown commitment, they've shown a history of buying from you. So think about that one. The second one is when they buy in bulk. Now buy in bulk, I speak about when they're taking more than one item. But the reason why this is okay to do is when you look at your cost per lead and your cost per acquisition. If they're buying multiple items, all of a sudden those costs per item to sell has actually gone down because that one person is buying. So even though you're discounting, you're actually saving money on your marketing because you don't need to do as much to sell as much. So think about that one as well, your cost per lead and your cost per acquisition. Next one, I'm gonna roll these two in together, concept viability and pre-launch. Now, a lot of people have a lot of ideas and they never get started because it needs to be complete, it needs to be perfect. But you can start making money very early on, even though it's not completed, by making a um, coming to market with something which is actually a little bit less in price because you're actually not ready there yet. You might need to complete 10 things and you've only done six of them. So why shouldn't you discount? Get them in the door, show that you're loyal, show that you can actually prove what you're gonna deliver. And then because they've bought something that is actually a value because you've not overcharged them, they will actually understand this is gonna take a little bit of time, you're gonna be there for them and you're actually gonna deliver with it. So the concept viability in the pre-launch, have a think about that. You might be worrying about launching something because it's not perfect, but if you're ready to launch and you're happy to give a bit of a discount to get it to market, why not? Remember, those that wait for every light to turn green at traffic lights will never move off the first step. So let's get going with this. We look at good story as well. Now, what do I mean by, what do I mean by good story? What companies are you tied in with? What charities, what causes are you tied in with? Maybe there's some way there where you can give a allocation of the money the client is spending to that charity. If you've got a great story to tell about a charity or a cause, put it out there, people will sign up. But please, make sure you're doing it in an ethical way. I've seen so many companies saying they're tied to these charities and causes, and those charities and causes never receive any money. So if, you, if you're a buyer yourself, make sure that when you're buying something because it's going to a cause, it's actually going there. And the final one is easy payments. Now you might not need to discount here, maybe there's a payment structure you can do. Have a think about that. Maybe you can get a big chunk of it in that's gonna cover all your costs and then do the other payments over a certain period. So these are the tips we've gone through here. I'll go through them quickly again. Best and loyal customers. You should not be discounting unless they've shown commitment and shown history to you that they're actually bought from you. We look at buy in bulk, your cost per lead, your cost per acquisition. You might be discounting, but it might cost you less. Concept, pre-launch. If you're gonna launch something, you don't think it's ready yet, discount it a little bit. Be, um, then the client actually, you're balancing their expectation. Yeah, they're, they're aware of this the good story and the easy payments. Now, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. I know discount is a big frowned upon word. I don't believe in discounting, but there are times you can do it, and these are some of the ways to make sure that you're still gonna deliver value to your clients. 
Now let's hear your thoughts on this. If you think this can help anybody, please like and share. I'm trying to spread as much value as possible. But that's it for today. Thanks a lot and I'll see you tomorrow.